Well, good morning, everyone. It's Monday, not Sunday. I don't know about you guys, but this time change is going to have me messed up for at least two weeks. Not to mention twice, not once, but twice yesterday, we had unexpected company, which just threw off my whole day. But that's beside the point. So I am supposed to be working on some things for the next market. And, well, I kind of have. But at the same time, I haven't because I got frustrated and went off on a tangent on a different project. But we'll get into that. Oh, no. Both cats are in here with me. One of them has to go. Hang on. That's better. Otherwise, we're going to have a cat fight on our hands. So it looks like Toby has left the room as well. So maybe we'll get through this without any Toby fiasco. So I have been making a few things. And I don't know what I did first, but it doesn't really matter. So I made another one of All From Jade's Octos. And this one I did out of the uh, Premier's uh, Pom Pom Yarn. And I think it turned out really pretty. I don't know the name of the color. But it's blue with pretty colored specks in it. So I have another one. That gives me three of these now. And then I was looking through my stack, my very large stack of patterns, and I was like, I haven't made this since the first market, which I sold it at the first market. I don't know why I haven't revisited it, but I haven't. So I did. And I made this one yesterday, the little space alien, after both rounds of company left. And after I finished getting all my button orders done. And I had about an hour before Walking Dead was going to start. So, I made the little alien. For some reason, I don't know, because it's been so long, it seems like my little alien head is bigger, but it's probably just my imagination because I haven't made it so long. But these are pretty fun and easy to make. So, I have one alien made. It was just like, I haven't done this in a while, so it's like doing something new. And then last time I showed you guys, um, I was trying to figure out how to do the sad hamster for Jenna. And I had said I found a uh, gerbil pattern and it was for an infant gerbil. And I got it off of Ravelry, but I do not remember the designer's name. Apologies, but it's a free pattern on Ravelry. And if you're interested in it, you can always just look up gerbil, crochet, gerbil, whatever, on Ravelry. So this one was the one that I showed you guys, or one of the two. I do not have the other one here with me. So someone had commented saying that they would buy this. So I went ahead and added the little bow and I figured what the heck. Give it a try. I spent the time making it. We'll see what happens. Well, then I went back to the pattern. And I made a gray one with a little pink bow. Because the one that they show on TikTok is gray. But then I also did one in toffee. So I have... Three sad hamsters to take to my market. And I also showed you last week this possum. The one that looks like a pig in a possum costume. And I was like, I know I can do better than this. He just, he doesn't have enough face. He doesn't look right. So I know I can do better than this. And this one was with the Michael Sharn. And they looked okay when I did them with the Parfait Chunky and they were like really tiny. But I still always, there was something about them that I really didn't care for. 
and just couldn't quite put my finger on it. And I'm, I'm sure I am 100% sure now that it's, it doesn't have enough face. So I thought to myself, what would happen? And I bet I could do it. So I played with it. I have my hedgehog pattern that I wrote. And I'm like, well, if I didn't put all the fluff on it, and I just did some color changes to it, that hedgehog would make a great possum. So that's what I did. I, he's got a longer nose. Now, of course, these are both made out of the same. One's tighter than the other, so the sizes are a little different. But this was my hedgehog pattern, and I just just changed up the colors, didn't put the, you know, uh, fluffy quills or whatever it is on a hedgehog, and added a, the little divider, just did a top stitch on that to you know, give it that shape and place the ears in a slightly different spot than I did on the hedgehog. And I came, got this little possum. And it definitely has more face than the pig in a possum costume. So I like these much better. So if I'm going to make possums, I think this is the way I'm going to do my possums. I'm just going to modify my hedgehog pattern to get the possum. So one of the things that I really needed to make for my market was some axolotls. And the axolotl pattern that I bought way back is one where you have to uh, slip stitch to join and chain one and you're not working in the spiral. And I had also tried this other one that, you know, like face this way and the tail came down and its face was coming out on this part. And I had tried a couple of those. They were small and I think I still have those. I'm not sure. I may have thrown it in my misfit box because, I mean, people weren't even looking at those. And I thought they were cute, but... You know, everything I think is cute doesn't mean it's cute <laughs> to everyone else. So, I was frustrated with the axolotl pattern that I had purchased a while back. I didn't want to have to slip stitch to join and chain one and then figure out or when I get back around which one was my last stitch and which one is the join and it just like, it can end up growing on you when you don't want it to grow if you lose track of where you're at. And so I was just like, you know what? I can do this. I can make my own. I don't need somebody else's pattern. I don't need to have to try and figure it out. I can do this all by myself. So I set out on a mission and I made myself a little axolotl. And it's funny because I pulled, I Googled axolotl and pulled up pictures of the real thing. And I'll put it in. It, this thing is so cute. I'm like, he's got like this cute little smile on his face. Now, normally I don't like on some of them to put a mouth on it, but I felt like this needed a mouth. But you could put a mouth on it or not put a mouth on it. However, but this was my first one. And I had my little chicken scratch go on my notes. So I made this one. And I probably tried four or five different ways of doing the gills until I settled on these. And I like these because they're not like flapping in the wind and curling. They stay like looking fanned out. So yeah, this one is, this part is the um, Hobie Toucan and this part is perfect chunky. So I said, let me try it again. So then I did, oh, what color did I do next? I think it was this one. So I did this one in 
mint and I don't remember the name of this color, but I like this color and I have very little of it, but it went well with the mint. So I did this and then I did one more and I thought, well, maybe I'm making the head too small. Let me try adding an extra round in the head. And I did that with the purple one. So this one, the head is a little bit bigger, but when I compared the two together, like side by side, I liked it without the extra round. So I left out the extra round, but you know, this one's made, so it's staying that way. And then I went to yellow. So I'm just trying to use up the yarns that I had open. So I have yellow and I used the orange as the, um, I used the orange as the accent color so then I had greens open, and this one is the green from Key Lime from Premier, and this one is that Hobie green that I have very little of, but they, the two just go really well together. So we have this guy, and then I had one blue open, had to start another one. Well, I had other blues, but they weren't like the right kind of shades of blue that I was looking for. So I had this blue was almost used up. So I had to open up a light blue. So I have it in blue. And then I'm like, you gotta have pink. But I didn't have any pinks that were partial skeins. So I had to get into two pinks. My basket of partial skeins is not getting any smaller. It just seems to keep growing. So we did pink. Now, I have to tell you, like, I really impressed myself with this because not one single time after my first three, and as I was like figuring it out, not one single time did I have to adjust my back legs. You know how the patterns will say, um, you know, you may have to adjust the placement of the bobble stitch because of tension or hook size or, you know, whatever the reasoning might be. I absolutely did not have to rearrange any of the bobble stitches. So I was like really impressed. So I had con contacted um, Heather with Cottontail Crafts and Sue uh, from Crafty Sue 519 and ask them if they wanted to test a quick and easy pattern. And they both said yes. So I emailed it over to them and I'm like, this is, this is the information I need. First, can you understand my explanation of how to do the gills? Um, and I wanted to know if they had to adjust their back legs, the bobble stitches for the back legs, because I didn't have to adjust any of mine. And I'm a yarn under, and both of them are yarn over. I had contacted a couple of other people, but did not hear back from them. So I was hoping to have four people do it, but two was good because they ran into no problems. They didn't need any explanation on anything and their bobble stitches were in the right spot too. They did not have to adjust. Now, of course, we all used Parfait Chunky. So then, after getting their feedback, I said, well, let me do one with Michaels and see what happens. So, I, you know, Michaels is still limited on their colors. But what I had on hand was purples. And this one, I didn't put the little mouth on. I think it looks cuter with the little mouth. So he's going to get a mouth. And I did not have to adjust my bobble stitches. It was exactly how I wrote it. So that's a good sign. That is a really good sign. And it was funny because the first picture Heather sent me was green. First picture Sue sent me was green. <laughs> so they both made a green one. Then Heather sent me a picture she did purple. And Sue did pink, I think. And then Heather did a yellow, but she did hers with the um, 
mustard for the accent color. But anyways, I wrote up the pattern. Oops. And I have it listed in my Etsy shop. And I know there's like hundreds of axolotl patterns out there. But a lot of them are really frustrating. Um, I know there was one that I tried. And following the directions, like it said, the eyes would have been going this way. And it would have had a foot in the middle of the back. And I was just like, forget it. Forget it. Not all free patterns are what they're cut out to be. So I just did it on my own. And I think it looks really cute. And now Heather made hers on Saturday. Well, Heather and Sue both made theirs on Saturday. But Heather had a market yesterday. And she took the three that she made. And she sold one on her first market out. And I'm like, well, that is a good sign. So I have seven axolotls. Look at that rainbow of axolotls. Isn't that cute? So I have seven of these and one in the Michaels, which really isn't much of a size difference. So for like length, it's just a little bit longer, not much, but it's definitely like the head is bigger and the, uh, the belly size is a little bigger. But yeah, so I had some fun. I got off path, off path, off track, and just, I had to figure it out. I just had to. So yeah, there's that. And then I tried, I bought myself a new pattern. I treated myself yet again. So... I bought this uh, crocodile pattern, alligator, crocodile, whatever. They kind of look the same except for their ends of their nose, I think. Um, and I started it last night, but I didn't finish it. But this time change has me so messed up. I woke up this morning and I tried to lay back down and I couldn't. So I went ahead and got up and it's still dark outside and I thought John hadn't changed the clock on the stove in the kitchen. So, you know, it says it's like quarter to six. I'm thinking it's a quarter to seven. So I'm, I'll just stay up. So I go outside so, you know, I can be quiet and not make noise and wake anybody else up. And I'm on the porch and it's a little chilly. And I said, you know what, I'll just go close myself up and work on my crocodile that I started. So I started this little guy last night and I finished it this morning. And this is an Oso pattern. At first, when I was looking at it, I'm like, there's no way that that is no so. But it was, it was all no so. It was different. Um, but I got through it. There were some parts I would, it, I was a little bit baffled at first, and so I sat there and I would read it, and then I'd read it again, and then I'm looking at my work, and then I'm reading it, and then all of a sudden it would just click, just, okay, let's do this. So, the only thing I think I would do different, I'm not going to make another one for this market, but if this sells, I'll make more, is the legs. Now, my toes are a little wonky, um, so they're not all facing the right direction. But your crochet the legs in, I think I might have overstuffed them a little bit. But I think, and you don't, you, the pattern doesn't have you crochet them closed. Now, I know if I do that, it'll make them just a tad bit longer, but it would be so much easier to attach because that was a little bit of a battle. Other than that, I mean, it. there was only one round that I had to adjust. It was for one of the back legs to make it go on and not be like over to the side. But uh, other than that, all my stuff ended up where it should have 
according to the pattern directions, if I understood it correctly. But this is by Kay's, Kay's Crochet Critters. Oh, and if I didn't tell you, the Space Invader is Meg's Makes. But he, he's kind of cute. I think maybe for the size of his big old head, might need a little bit longer of a body, but he's cute. I mean, look at that. Look at those eyes. And his nose. All of that is no-so. Every bit of it is no-so. This part is surface crochet and yeah, it's, it's all no-so. When I did the eye part, that was a confusing one. I was like reading it and then I read it again and then read it again and I'm like, okay, I'm supposed to have 12 stitches. There are 10 and it was just the way it was worded. It took me a minute to grasp that I'm supposed to do in the corners and that's how I end up with the 12 stitches. But I figured it out. It just, it took a second to, I had to think about it and look at my work and I, I was able to get it. But I love his little face. It's so cute. All of this, the eyes, the little nostrils that stick up, all of that is crocheted in, no sewing. So he's cute. And that, is what I have made. <laughs> Not very much, in my opinion. Some of you guys will be saying, oh, you did so much, but not really when you consider it's seven of the same thing, and that's only because I was on a mission. Eight, if you count the one in the other size yarn. Um, the possums, again, I was on a mission because this just wasn't going to work for me. I just, he's just, it's not right. This may not be right, but it's more right. So I don't know, should I write up the changes and do a pattern for a possum? I mean, because again, there's probably hundreds of them out there. These are cute. The more I look at them, they're cute, even with those big old silly looking eyes on them. I don't know, you guys. So, yeah, that's what I did. That's what I did. But I, I have to say, I am really proud of myself about this axolotl pattern. I was so impressed on, especially, especially that I did not on any one of these have to adjust the position of the back legs. That just really impressed me. Now, I'm supposed to be putting my turtle pattern in writing, and I was supposed to be making some turtles, but I didn't, and I have to, and maybe that'll be what I work on today. So that's it. That's my makes. Exciting axolotl pattern. Possible possum pattern. This was requested to be written up, so I will get to it. I will get to it. I promise. Um, I still was asked by a lot of people about how to do that crochet eye, so I want to do that. It's just there's not enough time in a day, and they took an hour away from me with the time change. So <laughs> there's always that. That'll be my excuse for the next couple of weeks is they took an hour away from me. All right, you guys, I am going to see you in the next video.